Hello friends and welcome back for episode 15 of our Terraria 1.2 Let's Play. We are here in the jungle, as you may remember, last episode we did a little bit of a, you know, it was a dipsy doodle, so to speak, and ended up deciding to go from, well, our home, which is all the way over here, all the way to the right, to the end of the world, well, as far as we could get anyway, because I can't swim really still. I uh, realized I was going to die at about this point, turned around, came back, and we found this pyramid, and we're zigzagging down to this jungle, which was uh, basically what took us to this point right now. Uh, so we are roughly about equal, if not maybe a little bit higher than the, the deepest point that we've made it into the uh, the world's crust at this point. And we're going to do a little bit more jungle exploration for this episode, I think. You guys might be happy to see my inventory has a bit more space in it. And we'll continue to gain more space. I'm about to eat a whole bunch of potions right now because I just want to not only get them out, but also make it a little easier for everybody to see uh, in case I am dumb and decide to mess up and not put glow sticks or anything. Uh, so yeah, I put all my stuff in the piggy bank, which works pretty well, I have to say. Also, forgot to mention last time, so I have this now. Uh, kind of a, an important thing to not forget. But yeah, it lets me uh, hover in the air for a pretty long time, actually, before it decides to drop away. Uh, and I'm gonna throw some glow sticks around here. I'm hoping maybe I can discover some cool ores or something that I'm not familiar with. Uh, okay, so we're actually breaking into some ebon stone, which means there's corruption here. I guess then I want to go down a little bit further. Funny how I chose to stop right there and I didn't even know that was on the other side. Uh, I had reached the end of that world, so to speak, anyway. So let's kill some slimes, and it looks like this uh, continues to go down a ways underneath. Uh, chances are it probably loops under a ways, and it isn't just going to end, because jungle is usually pretty deep and pretty elaborate. Uh, navigating it underwater, though, might be a little bit challenging still, but I think with uh, the aid of a little bit of grappled magic and maybe some underwater tunnels, I think we'll be fine try my best anyway, especially now that we can hover in the air. That's kind of a neat thing. Uh, should help me out with some of these issues anyway. There we go. Get our breath back. And when I break through these, it's all just going to come crashing back in again, but shouldn't be too big of a deal. As long as I can keep something to jump into, we're going to be just fine. Uh, so I guess I'll make my way over to the left. I do want a little bit more light here, if possible. It's still... But on the dark side. Oh, it looks like we can actually go directly under us, which is also just fine. Uh, so let's get some water through here. Oh, I guess it's just going to fill up, so there's not all that much to see. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'll throw another glow stick down here anyway, just so I can get a good look. Uh, there is some ore down there, so I guess I might as well go grab that. This is a risky way to do stuff, by the way. I don't know that I necessarily recommend it. Oh, then we've got to add a worm into the equation. Uh, there are definitely safer ways to go. I mean, being able to breathe underwater, usually a good prerequisite for uh, going to the jungle. Because, let's face it, you're going to find a lot of water down here. It's a very, very water-rich area. Uh, what is going on up above us? There's like a rock embedded in a pile of stone, and now I guess we're just going to kill this bee. Who is going to be a big butt and be stuck in this spot. What happens if you drown this thing? Can you do that? Probably not. I don't know. Maybe it would die. I don't really care. Uh, so we'll throw a torch up here. And I kind of want to investigate because this is a strange structure I've never seen. Really active stone. Oh, it's a trap probably. I'm going to guess this is probably a trap. What happens if I break that? Oh, okay. Well, it just breaks. The end. So I probably had to like trip a tripwire somewhere and then that's going to just fall on my head. You are unsuccessful, jungle. Oh, I found some gold. Okay, that's cool. I haven't found a whole lot of that. Although, to be honest, I think my, whatever my meteorite suit is now, I think is probably a tier above gold. But still, it probably has some other practical applications in other devices or builds. Uh, what is that? A barrel of some kind? Tin ore, mud block, uh, whatever. Some sort of decoration again. Uh, I would like to grab that. A little bit more lead. Also, because it exposes what's on the other side, you can get a better look. Is that a chest down there? Yeah, it totally is. Alright, well, might as well just uh, put out all our torches then, because, yeah, why not? And we'll just go ahead and get that chest. Oh, what is that? A beach ball. That's pretty wacky. Tungsten, shuriken, okay, loot chest. And I want to pick up this chest as well. Oh, and there's like a pillar up here. 
All sorts of weird things. Alright, let's toss some light all around. Uh, I definitely want to grab that. I am, I'm totally into, like, the decoration weird stuff that you can run into uh, when you are deep under the ground in your spelunking expeditions. Hopefully I can just, yeah, mind pick that away. Pillar statue, it was called. Okay. And looks like some more tungsten. Always could use more of that, I guess. I mean, not that I really have a specific thing in mind to do with it, but I'll take it. <laughs> Over here, we've got some kind of spike jungle slime. I might as well shoot it with spells. Oh, it's got... Oh, it shoots spikes at me! I guess that kind of makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Probably like toxic spikes, too, because... Why not just be a bigger jerk? Alright, so I don't necessarily want to go up against a whole bunch of those guys. They're not really my favorite. Uh, okay, angry fish now. Those weren't there a minute ago. Alright, let's dig a air section out of that. Oh, the whole thing changed color. I guess we changed biomes or something. And we'll just drop down and toss another few glow sticks, and we'll just start digging away. Let's just not let's uh, let, let's not forget that we're like underwater here, because that could happen. I don't really care too much about that tin. Not really that necessary. Lead. Okay, sure. Why not? Just want to keep getting light on everything for you guys and for me. Uh, even though I had those potions, I guess those have worn off a while ago. It's amazing how fast time goes when I'm playing this game. It really seems like time's accelerated about ten times the normal rate. I mean, a half an hour episode of this feels like it lasts about seven minutes-ish. Not really sure what that's about, I guess I'm just having a good time. Also, the act of talking to yourself, I think it distracts some part of your brain that is, like, normally the timekeeping agent. Uh, so you, you just sort of, you put yourself into a state of, like, hypnosis in a weird way. And then all of a sudden you find, like, a bunch of time has passed. It's a, it's a weird little trick you can do to yourself if you want. I mean, give it a try. Make make a Let's Play video. Go for it. See what you think. Who knows? Maybe you, you're the hidden talent that the world's been looking for all this time. You could be the next great Let's Player. The next great American Let's Player. Or, or anywhere, really. It doesn't have to be American. Um, okay, we've found the corruption again. So we've gone full circle. The American thing. I was just trying to make the correlation to American Idol or something. But no. Not really a funny joke at all. Uh, do I want to break another one of these things? I mean, I kind of want another asteroid to crash, because I want to get the last little bit to get the hammocks. Also, they give you stuff, and fighting the boss is not all that hard anyway. Oh, jeez. It's you again. But really, I should probably not be so concerned with doing that, as I should be just trying to, like, get further down. There we go. Suck it, big ol' worm. I don't know, I guess since it's here, I should probably just get it. What's the worst that happens? You know, I get some kind of crappy item out of it that I didn't necessarily want. Eventually, there's going to be an asteroid. And I see that there's actually a wormy guy shooting in from the other side, which means the jungle is actually sort of, like, interspliced with the corruption or something? Not really sure I know what's going on here biome-wise, but hopefully we'll figure it out. Yeah, it looks like more mud, so maybe the corruption is just sort of, like, splattered into the jungle. Or maybe it's just depth. That could probably be it. I don't know, I'll look at the map later. Uh, it's just more tin. Sometimes I can't even tell if it's tin, because the lighting gets so weird. You have to also account for the fact that there's, like, colored lighting, which makes everything a little bit harder to parse. Like the whole thing we was having with the asteroid bits before, I was uh, just digging into it, it looked just like regular old stone, but like orangey. But the orange was just because of the light, so, you know, light plays tricks on your eyes. Okay, this ebonstone block seems to take quite a while to dig into with this pick. Which you would think, given that it's a pretty good pick. Well, I guess this is the tier it should be for mining this. It's like the bare minimum. And is there something, like, up there? I think it's just a hole in the rocks, right? I could also use, like, sticky bombs or something, but I didn't. Alright, so that wormy guy's gonna come out looking for me. What's that up there? I see some amethyst bits, it looks like. Let's just break this sucker right now. Horrible chill goes down your spine. What did I get out of it? Uh, ball of hurt. Oh, this is one of those uh, ball and chains I was looking for before. I mean, this isn't necessarily the one I like, because I had this, like, big blue one. Uh, but this could be useful, perhaps. I kind of like how this thing bonks. 
And then a lot of the time you can actually hit stuff on your way back with it too. Which is kind of cool. Alright, so let's dig my way a little bit further. There's a lot of green uh, glowing going on over there. See if we can maybe get in this direction and take care of this... I forgot what we call these things. Like a plant grabber arm. I mean, it's like not a very good name, but... Man-eater, right, there it is. We got man traps in Spelunky, we got man eaters in Terraria. Good thing to keep in mind. Uh, if you could, like, exist for a few more moments at a time, that would be pretty helpful. I'd like to shoot you with a spell. Like that. There we go, that's a little bit more like it. He's not dead yet. But he will be soon. There he goes. Yeah, they seem to just, like, spawn all the time. Pretty much, like, as soon as you walk off the screen, it, like, Mega Man's its way back in. Uh, also those demon altars, whatever we call those things, uh, yeah, I, I hear you on, like, that I shouldn't bother those, because apparently they just hurt you until you reach a certain point. Uh, I kind of wanted that amethyst up there, but I guess I don't care enough to dig through all that. It's gonna take, like, way too long. Alright, what's going on down here? It looks like another cavern. Oh, full of bees. Alright, so it's another bee hole. Let's shoot this guy. Uh, oh, excuse me. There we go. Get a little bit more light again, and throw some of these guys down. I also want that spore thing, because it's just pretty and green, and I want to see what it is. I remember there were some pretty important items that would drop occasionally in this, like seeds or something that I needed to collect, because then I could craft them into some sort of armor or device or... I think it was to augment my grappling hook, right? I think I wanted to have the the better kind of grappling hook that grabs onto all the walls at the same time. Uh, I thought I remember there being a couple of comments that spoke to that in some way, mentioning that, that there were, like, alternatives to that now. Jungle spores! Okay, that seems like a cool thing to have. And I see some more tin and tungsten as well. Uh, Alright, do we need to get rid of this guy right away? Because this guy is a real problem for me. Thank goodness. Stingers also seem like a pretty good thing to have. I remember those were useful before. Although things that I remember don't necessarily mean a whole lot, considering uh, things changed a lot as well. What's going on in the, the demon altar room over there? There seems to be sort of a strange-looking plant over on the left side. I can't tell if that's anything I should care about or not. Uh, if we could get you back on screen again, please, I wanna... Oh, what is that? I'm throwing torches all over the place! That's not what I was trying to do at all. Is it a bat or something? Okay. Man trap. Man eater. Whatever. There you go. Next. There he goes. And they drop a few silver coins. Alright, fair enough. If I could just, like, not grapple the thing I'm about to hit every single time, that would be nice. Can't seem to handle that, though. <laughs> Uh, what's going on up there? I see some sort of... Oh, I thought it was a chest. I think it's just another demon altar, so I guess forget that. Another bat. Bats, the bats. The bats are gonna get ya. Not really. You guys are pretty benign, actually. Uh, for the jungle, anyway. I thought I remember this being a very particularly dangerous place, but maybe the scaling of everything has changed a little bit. Or maybe I'm more powerful than I thought I was. I don't know. Never thought I would be able to, uh, do much of anything, though, with, like, this early weapon. But it seems to have lasted quite a while. I'm into it. This, uh, ruby staff is quite useful. I guess just the the fact that you'd have to get rubies in the first place means you'd have to spend a little bit of time. So that's sort of the balancing there. Uh, I kind of want to look at the map and see. I mean, I haven't really been going down anymore. I'm just sort of going over. And also, something seems to be dying in the middle of the walls here, so let's get some light on the situation. And maybe just start digging in that direction, because I don't know what else we're looking for. I want to see what this is that keeps getting hurt. It's probably some sort of a dangerous, uh, like, environmental hazard that an enemy just keeps walking into. Well, it died, whatever it was. Probably gonna open up a big cavern in a moment here. Okay, maybe not. I don't know what's going on at all. Where was that even coming from? Like, below us still? Okay, I see something over there wiggling around. Oh, it's a uh, spiky slime. Maybe it was shooting at me and it was hitting another enemy by accident and it was killing it? 
Mystery will soon be revealed, don't worry. Lots of cobwebs for the collection. There's some gold. I always enjoy some gold. You know, I still have to get used to my uh, toolbar being set up a little bit differently. I mean, in the past I always had it so the, uh, the weapon that I used most often was in the furthest left slot. Uh, so I could quickly alternate with the... Uh, whatever my light source was at the time, which was always in the furthest right slot. So I would just, I would scroll up one and then down one to switch back and forth from torch to that. But that was before uh, the shift button and the contextual thing and all of that. Uh, so these guys are going to start firing spikes at me real soon. See if I can, like, head them off at the pass. Oh, jeez, they're already here. They're kind of aggressive. I guess that kind of makes sense, though. Okay, excuse me, if we could arrange a meeting. Uh, I guess they do actually poison me, yeah. I thought I'd said that before, but I don't remember. Come on. There we go. Alright, the man traps I can handle. I don't think they're all that dangerous as long as I see where they are coming from and I don't just walk into one of them. Uh, I mean, sure, I'm sure that could happen as well, but for now, I think I know where these guys are. Quite a few of them as well. Uh, if we could, like, get some kind of drop item for me, that would be cool. See some more jungle spores? Those are probably good, right? They glow, so that has to mean something. Okay, kind of want to just, like, drain out this water here. And get this precious mahogany. There's got to be some, like, specific use for the mahogany that you would want to have a bunch of it for, right? It seems too cool to, like, just be a material for no reason. Alright, this is a helpful thing, throwing these light sources around. There's another little tree down here, maybe I'll grab that. Oh, excuse me, I did wander right into that guy. Oh jeez, there's, uh, just saw, like, a chandelier under the... Oh, stop hooking me! Got the worst hooks now, what am I doing? Alright, come up through the floor. These are the weirdest bungee cord style that you seem to shoot out at. There we go. That's that guy, and the other one? Oh, it's glowing down there. Alright, let's break through the floors and get this water out. Hopefully it doesn't kill the spore. No, it doesn't. There we go, now I can be on fire again like a real man. It's better. More mahogany for the pile. Rich mahogany. For rich me, apparently. Not really rich. Well, in Terraria, maybe. But only maybe a little bit. There's actually a whole nother coin that I haven't even gotten yet. I haven't reached 100 gold pieces yet. Uh, let's stop tiptoeing around this and let's just, like, clear out all these shrubberies and whatever vines. So maybe I can see where I'm going and what's gonna kill me. Uh, and how do I navigate this, though? I guess, like that. And what's this? Oh, that was what was glowing? It was just like a stupid star? I thought it was something fancy. Alright, well I see there's like a wood shell in the ground, which is almost always good news. As far as I remember, those are always full of good stuff. And I don't want slime... Slime blob, get out. Alright, good. Let's mine this away. And put up some torches. Whatever. Not really the best placement, but you know, to get the job done. And I guess we'll mine this lead out of the wall, because we're here. Good combination, being able to grapple and also hover in the air a little bit. That worm is pretty puny for the jungle. What are you doing here, bro? I'll kill you with my mind pick. Go home and be a family man. Alright, let's go through this wooden ceiling here, because there's a chest, and I see it's a golden chest. Which means it might have better stuff than normal. Oh, we've got statues as well. Uh, okay, it's just a regular slime. Not too scared of this one. It looks like a seagull statue, maybe? Alright, bird statue, and what was that? I don't even know. Uh, what is that, an extractinator? Uh, can we place turn salt slush into something more useful to use? Okay. Suspicious looking eye, so we can fight the boss again, easily. And a couple Night Owl potions. Sure, we'll loot all and run out of inventory spaces already. Uh, well, there's only five pieces of wood. Don't really want those. Four bombs? I could just, like, throw the bombs right now and 
Well, I was gonna dig out stuff anyway, so why not? Just throw some over here, throw some over there. Um, uh, not really wanted, didn't really want that on the chest. Alright, well thankfully the chest holds things, like, in that spot. And I probably just recouped all the stuff that I just wasted a second ago. More glow sticks, well, whatever. Uh, active stone, okay, so those are the, uh, the switch thingies that I can use somehow. Figure those out later. And night owl potions, two of them. Uh, do I have anything that I can replace? I don't really care about the shuriken. Just get rid of that. And another gold chest for the pile. Do want. Uh, take that. I never thought I would be in such a position in Terraria where I felt like I was constantly in need of more inventory spaces. I mean, I know I've got the piggy bank and everything, but like, just, it would be cool if you could just increase your total amount of inventory capacity somehow, like, get a backpack as an accessory. Uh, planked wall, where's the... there, there. What's going on down there? Is some sort of weird structure? I gotta keep remembering I still can't breathe underwater as much as I'd like to. I don't know what that is. This is just like dead stuff. Alright, let's dig down and make a little air pocket here, because I guess we're going to mine down here for a minute. And there's some more jungle spores, which, you know, I think we want to collect those for some reason, so I might as well continue that trend. I think a really scary sound happening. I don't know if you're hearing that, but it's like moaning or gurgling or groaning or something. Or it might just be the music. Tough to say. And I see a little bit of gold over there, it looks like, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that next. Um, back to the air bubble. Before I die. There we go. Can't really have a nice air bubble down here, can I? What hit me? Is this a fish or something? Just like knocked a bunch of wood? What was that about? This place is dumb, I can't see anything. <laughs> Alright, there's some silt it looks like. There's all kinds of stuff down there apparently. Uh, must have just been stuff that was left over from like blowing up all of that stuff and it just all sank right there. Probably a pretty reasonable thing to assume. So I'm going to actually have to dump a bunch of stuff off into the piggy bank, although that's almost full as well. So we're just making our inventory management take much, much longer between episodes now. But that's the price you pay for having lots of items to choose from, I suppose. Get up! Go! Just wanted to put on the magic carpet instead of actually just jump. Jeez. Don't be dumb. So I gotta use a grappling hook for this stuff. <clears throat> Like, one piece of gold there. Oh, and I want this chandelier as well. But I need to drop something out of my inventory for that. I guess I need to put down the old piggy bank. Uh, where are my wooden platforms? There we go. Let's pop this sucker down right here. Or there, whatever. Alright, I'll put the gold chandelier in here. Um, I have some tungsten bars. I don't really need the bars on me, right? Oh, it looks like I've got a whole pile of tungsten and a whole pile of lead. Gold, more tungsten. Alright, well, I might as well take the stacks out, because I'm not going to hold more of them like that. Bunch of rich mahogany, which is great. Suspicious looking eye for later. There's an extractinator, whatever that is. And some more gold. Another gold chest, we can stack those. A water chest. Pillar. All this stuff is, like, not really stackable because I'm never going to find another piece of it. Some wood. Jungle spores, I probably will find more of those. Mahogany. Look, I can make 
rich mahogany workbench for the more discerning fancy man. I guess I'll take 999 blocks of mud for some reason. Uh, 230 more ropes to add to the pile. All right, I'll keep a secondary stash of those. A beach ball. Probably not going to use that again. Planked walls. Who cares? Keep all the ores together if possible. Lead. And the stone, really. It's just regular old stone. I don't need that at all. All right, looks good. I'm mostly full anyway. Moon glow. I haven't had that yet. Alright, good enough. Oh, jeez, get hit by stuff. At least if I die, I don't, like, lose anything, because the piggy bank will just come back. Uh, well, it'll be in my house already. Alright, I'm gonna have to take care of this freaking spiky blob, who's gonna be a huge jerk. There we go. And this man-eater is going to come after me as well. So one nugget of gold there. Totally worth it. What's going on over on the left here? It looks like there's a whole pile of tungsten and then other stuff. Nothing down here. Is this silt or whatever? Let's, I guess we'll grab some of this as well. I don't think I've had this yet. Silt blocks, right? Let's put a torch up. Let's see a little bit. There's a spiky slime on the other side. And it looks like another tree. Okay. Thought maybe I could just power him down, but it doesn't seem so. I haven't been finding particularly amazing stuff. I mean, it's been some cool stuff, yeah, but not like... Oh my god, it's that item that makes the whole game much easier now. Or like, the magic mirror, that thing that you've been looking for since the beginning of the game. I mean, I'll live, it's just like... I would like to find something cool. I'm sure it'll happen. I'd be surprised if it doesn't happen sooner or later. I mean, I'd say, eventually I spend enough time in this game, I'm gonna find something cool. I mean, I'm literally covering the map as we go. Um, what's going on over here? Okay, well, we've got the piggy bank, which I don't really need in my inventory anymore. Let's swap that with something more useful. I guess I'll put the wood platforms back, unless there's something else better. You should put doors there. Put a door. No, I had ropes there before. That's what it was. This guy's gonna be a big old butt. Might as well shoot him with spells. And it looks like we are getting to maybe... What is this stuff over here? Oh, I thought this was more corruption, but I guess... There are spiky things here as well. Okay, why am I going left so far? Why don't I go down? So I'm making myself in- oh, jeez, this is a bad room. Uh, and I can't go back. Jeez, I almost died there. Heal up. Nothing really good looking through the floor. Well, there's something weird up there. I don't know what that is. It looks like a bean pot or something. Might as well go investigate, right? It's like an ear of corn, maybe. It's just like naturally occurring corn in this game now? No, nope, just another weed. Alright, where are we on the map? Oh, it looks like there's some big cavern below me, so I might as well go look there. And a big mother slime coming in after me. I got your number. If you make it over here, I got spells for you, buddy, don't worry. And the bats are going to come to greet me. Okay, sure, why not? Let's do bats then. Yeah, totally worth it, right? Did you get what you needed out of that interaction? Oh, I see some jungle seeds on the ground. Oh, it splits, right? I forgot about that. And they can make it through that crack easily. Moon glow and moon glow seeds. Okay, that seems cool. I don't know what those are, but glad I have them. Okay, I see another spore, and I'm not sure how deep this cavern goes. Oh, jeez. Oh, duh! Crap. It all happened so fast, I was looking at where I was going to go next, and then realized my health was already gone. Well, I guess the timing was not all that bad, honestly, considering 
Uh, my inventory is pretty full anyway. And I needed to go back home and do some clearing out of things. I see there's fallen stars everywhere. Might as well just pick these up, right? They're uh, occurring awfully frequently. I mean, if I can go ahead and just expand my MP again... Yeah, well, why not? Alright, there's seven of them. And I probably just weren't... Yeah, there it is. Brilliant. Okay, so we've gotten another 20 MP, and we've got the ability to hover now. We've got flames coming off of us. Things are starting to come together. Little by little, and I can do this, which is kind of fun. Just keep flying and hovering through the air. I don't have to worry so much about falling now. Uh, so I guess we'll wrap things up. I have a lot of sorting and putting things away to do. It's going to probably take me like a half an hour. What is this? I'm going to make green thread now out of something. What is this craft from? Oh, these jungle grass seeds. Okay. And I have quite a few materials. I also have a rich mahogany door with a lovely glass pane in it. Alright, well, I will see about maybe crafting some stuff for my house later. For now, though, I think we're probably good. So thanks again for hanging out, everybody. Uh, little by little, we're making our way through things. Let me know what you'd like me to do next. I think I'm probably... What I'd like to do most, uh, personally, is to continue looking around in this jungle, because I think there's something in here that I was after. Even if that's just, like, vines or something. But I thought there was something very specific that I wanted to get. And now, at this point, it's going to probably be easier to just, like, dig my way down to meet this point instead of just, like, start at the pyramid again. Or maybe I could make a crossover path. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Anyway, that's going to do it for another episode, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all your support and for your continued tips and help and all the goodies that you keep leaving. I appreciate having you here, and I hope you'll come back again for the next episode, which should be as soon as humanly possible. I do want to keep this series daily as much as I can. When it's not, though, it's just because of computer issues or, you know, I wasn't able to record as a result of computer issues that kept me doing other things for long enough. Hopefully you get what I'm trying to say. So that will do it. I will see you next time, and I hope you have a lovely night. Later.